Let's say that you are premenopausal, you're in your 30s, and you eat 25 grams of protein. Out of those 25 grams, five grams will make it to your muscles so that you can actually build muscle mass. Now that's 20% of the protein when you're younger that makes it to your muscles. Now let's go to your mid 50s or 60s, and now you're postmenopausal. You eat 25 grams of protein. But instead of five grams being made available to your muscles, now only four grams is able to go to your muscles. That's only 15% rather than 20%. So how do we fix this? We just need to consume more protein when we're older to offset this anabolic resistance. The second reason why I'm declaring protein as the menopause nutrient is because it can help reverse the negative body composition changes that happen during the menopause transition. Now, in one of the earlier episodes, and this is a good place for me to remind you, if you haven't watched the earlier episodes, go back and watch them. They provide a lot of context to what we're saying now. And this was designed as a series of educational lectures that build on each other. But what we learned in one of our earlier episodes was that as a woman enters the menopause transition, two things happen. For the first time in her life, she starts to lose lean muscle mass. The other thing that happens is that she's starting to gain body fat at an accelerated rate, much more so than she was ever gaining in her younger years. And the third reason is because women, particularly middle-aged women, do not get enough protein. Research has reported that on average, women will only eat about 70 grams of protein per day.